how about the Bills escaping a surprising close one against the Dolphins? Give you a little bit of an opening there, MJ. Nope. Close one. You expected it to be close. Turnover is a big reason why. Josh Allen threw three, two picks in the second quarter. A third issue in the third quarter. The Dolphins have scoop and score of Allen's strip sacks. So turnovers, I get it. It's a major theme. It's a topic of conversation that's not going anywhere at this point. So, LT, you tell me, is, is his style of play, Josh Allen's style of play, is that... Is that a liability for the Bills? Well, it certainly can be, of course. I mean, because that that we know turnovers leads to l you losing football games. However, this is a part of Josh Allen's DNA. I guarantee if we go back and look at, you know, film of him in high school, go back to junior high school in Pop Warner. <laughs> I guarantee you he played the exact same yeah. way. And, and sometimes that's the only way he knows how to play. Here's the key. You have to have a coach to be able to rein that in. And Brian Dayball, I'm just saying, he's in, he's with New York right now. He's got Daniel Jones playing the best football he's ever played. Maybe he was the one that was able to get Josh Allen to focus back in and not turn the ball over, rein him in a little bit throughout the game. That's the most important thing. Because during the game, sometimes you get going. Emotions get going. And you're playing ball. And so you have a tendency sometimes to get a little bit loose with the ball. And that's what's going on. Not saying that Ken Dorsey can't do that. We haven't seen it. So, uh, you know, maybe that's a, you know, something Ken Dorsey has to focus a little bit more on, trying to rein him in throughout the game. But certainly it can be a liability. Yeah, D. Hall, what are you saying? Nah, LT, I think you're right. I think you hit the nail right on the head. Um, I kind of differ in the approach, though, right? Um, you know, Ken Dorsey was a former player, and he was a damn good player on those very, very talented uh, University of Miami football teams, right, with some exceptional players. Ken Dorsey used to throw it around the yard. And so him being uh, Josh Allen's position coach, you kind of feel like that relationship, now you're the coordinator, might tend to kind of lend to you being able to communicate with me just a little bit better. But you are absolutely right. You see those turnovers start to rear their ugly head. And we've always talked about it, especially uh, the president of Bills Mafia, M. Rob. You know, he's always talking about if Josh Allen can just compose himself and listen to some Zen music before games and not go out so amped up. And maybe that's what Brian Dayball was, that calming force. But I know Ken Dorsey has to be able to get uh, 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 Josh Allen to... You know, it's a gift and a curse, right, Those that hero ball. Because if you throw it up to a guy like Stephon Diggs in a situation like that, do you trust Stephon to go make that play over another guy? And so, it, to, to, to me, it has to be the right situation. And that 50-50 ball with a guy like Steph Diggs, maybe that's more of a 70-30 ball, and Josh needs to throw more of those instead of some of those other guys. But um, it can absolutely be a liability, and they can't win if he's throwing interceptions. Yeah, D. Hall, I'm glad you bring up uh, our good friend Michael Robinson, who will be on the set with us tomorrow during the game. Actually, when it's finished, he tweeted this, Bills need to call a game to protect Josh from himself. So I think it speaks to what both of you guys yeah. are saying. Well, that game is coming in just a few days. Bills Bengals, 3 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. And listen, the Bills Bengals is the kind of matchup you want to see this time of year, especially. But now, in a win or go home scenario, the Bengals, they had a tougher time than expected against their division rival, the Ravens. Adding to that, Joe Burrow was sacked four times in that game. This one came down to one hero play. Sam Hubbard's scoop and score was luckily mic'd up thanks to our friends at NFL Films. Bengals were able to do this at the end of the half.
catch me to, okay, but for real, they had me shook a little Mark bit Mark Andrews almost caught him. He tried Literally, to right there. But the thing is, you can't rely on this kind of epic yeah. hero play, right? What is your confidence here, uh, D. Hall, in the Bengals heading into the divisional round against the Bills? You think they're shaken up a little bit after an ugly win? Hero, uh, pick six and all. You know what? They probably would cat they probably came into that Ravens game a little bit half stepping. You think no Lamar Jackson, you know, we all say we're not gonna take a team lightly, but maybe they did take that team lightly just a little bit. Um, but I got to spend some time with Sam Hubbard in this offseason, and I tell you what, couldn't be happier for a dude. And I mean, I got confidence in this team because just like last year when they went on that miracle run. They just found a way to get turnovers. Lou Rumbo finds a way to have his defense get in position to somehow affect this game and make game-changing plays. And so, yeah, it was ugly, right? And they could have lost, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. The Bengals didn't, and that's what we said all last year on the run to that Super Bowl. Man, they should have lost this. They couldn't do that. And, I mean, those safeties made play after play. Jesse Bates, Von Bell, it didn't matter. They made plays. Sam Hubbard, Trey Hendricks. I mean, guys made play after play, and that's, that's something that this team can say. They have playmakers on every single level of their defense. I didn't even mention Luke Wilson. He's hands down a top five linebacker in this league. So, I mean, they have a lot of playmakers that they're able to force those turnovers and give Joe Burrow on that offense more cracks at the apple. Yeah, my confidence is not shaking at all, D. Hall. Um, and I feel like Joe Burrow, to me, is the best quarterback that that can play with pressure around him. Like, he mm -hmm. never seems flustered, even when he's getting hit. And D'Angelo Hall alluded to it last year. It was the same case, right? He got sacked nine times mm -hmm. against Tennessee, and he still came out on top because he was confident and poised in the time where he needed to be. I think it's the same thing. We saw him under duress against the Ravens this last game, but when it counted the most, he seemed to be poised. He operated well within the pocket. And I think it's the same thing. This is how he plays. Jonah Williams is probably going to be out. So there you have it. More offensive linemen missing. But this guy, there is something about him. He knows how to operate under pressure. Yeah. Sack, what, 60-plus yeah. times a season ago. Still get to the Super Bowl. Offensive line issues, still a problem in terms of health. And yet, here it is. Joe Burrow continues to win football games, as does Josh Allen. More on this game on today's show, not to mention all week long. But keep in mind, with Burrow and Allen, longest active winning streaks. Burrow sitting at 9, Allen at 8.